Hello and welcome. Today we're going to be looking at how you can effectively use Google Docs or Slides as a digital whiteboard. Now there are other things you can do for a whiteboard if you want to draw or use it like a pen tool, but if you're just going to do text then you can use Docs or Slides. So if I'm using Docs I can put in my word that I might be responding to a question as part of an assessment for learning. So I'm going to put in whiteboard. But obviously if I'm using this in a class the idea is to then have that available so someone else can see it. So I don't want it this small. So I might want to increase the size, obviously make it pretty big. I want to have it on the side. Now one of the things you could do in Google Docs is if we're going to page setup is to actually make this a page list doc. So it's got nothing to worry about in terms of size and margins and all that kind of thing. Make it centralized and therefore we've got our doc. What you might also want to do is get rid of some of the gumph around the page, minimize things just so it's got a lot of space. Again, you can make this even bigger, make it as big as you want, as long as it's going to fit on your screen. Um, you also want to think about the font. So I've got Lexen font, it's very readable. What you wouldn't want is maybe something like Bangers font because it's just going to make it all capitalized and so that's not going to be great. So choose a good font. Um, so doing this in the same way on our Google slide. Again, one of the things you want to do is get rid of all the gumph around the page. So get rid of this, get rid of this, get rid of this. Um, and then you could actually just use the template to use this, although actually one of the layouts is this section header. So you could use this to write your word. But again, what you'd want to do is increase the size. Now, if you're using slides, you might want to go into the edit theme and on this and actually change the size here. So I could go call this 50. So again, just make it a bit bigger. It's not great at the moment. So I would have to again resize it, choose the right font, etc. And get rid of some of the space. So again, that could be used as a digital whiteboard. Now, what I would do if I was just doing this, first of all, I would think about actually setting this up as a template. So I could call it my whiteboard template and then make that a bookmark so I could add it to my bookmarks bar just for ease of access. So this means if ever I was in a lesson they could say okay get your whiteboard out. I can click on my whiteboard template and it automatically opens that up. You could do the same for Google Docs as well. A way of extending this task though is again if I'm going to delete this just so it's got click to add title. Um, I'm going to do it in Google Classroom because if I was a teacher I could create an assignment in Google Classroom and this could be just be a perpetual assignment. I don't have to close it, have a due date, they want it marked or anything like that. But what I can do is attach my Google file. So I'm going to, open, I'm going to use my Google Slides, just wait for that to come in. Here we go. I'm going to insert this and I'm going to make a copy for each student. So I'm going to sign this now. So each student's get their own copy of my whiteboard template. And in a moment I'll show you the benefit of doing this. So once it's done I've set that and I've got my assignment here. So what I've got is I've only got two students in this class but I can actually then see their work. So the benefit of this for the teacher is that they can actually then click on the student work share this on their whiteboard for example. Again, I can maximize my space and I can actually see what if I want to any of my students and share this on the whiteboard. So there's a way of getting tracking and sharing that work as well. And even then you could get students to feedback on that answer. They could annotate that answer maybe. Depends what whiteboard technology you've got. So it's a good way of just tracking what the students have answered and having that as a record as well. So I hope this has inspired you in how you might use docs or slides or you could do Jamboard the same way in your Google Classroom.